So a few years ago, um, we created the uh, role of the Chief Sustainability Officer to coordinate among the many different units on campus that were engaged in sustainability efforts. And our goal is to be sure that we're reaching um, everyone across all of the things that the university does. One of the things that we try to do here on campus and then also off campus is to be a model to serve as a living lab for what can be possible in sustainability. So some of the efforts that we've engaged in across the campus include, some people will know about, in the College of Science, we had a behavioral energy campaign last year. Um, we're running the same thing in fine arts and architecture and planning this year that has lots of student involvement in it. Um, we have been engaged in something called the Better Buildings Challenge, where we've tried to re uh, improve energy efficiency in existing buildings one of the best buildings on campus and in fact probably one of the best buildings that's been built anywhere is the new law school building which is LEED Platinum and along with that law school building uh, there are three uh, electric vehicle chargers that are right outside. We ran something called U Community Solar about a year ago uh, where we offered discounted solar um, to those people who signed up and we were incredibly successful in that program. It was the um, it, it, it had the, uh, it's the top uh, university program that's ever been run. So one program that's really high visibility right now is the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. And so really the value of bringing the farmer's market, one is it's a really great community connection, but also it's a great way to get people on campus to eat local. So we're talking about real food and you know one of the criteria for real food is local. And so that's something that we really want to keep pushing with the farmer's market. There are two edible campus gardens. Um, the first one was started, I believe, in the mid-90s. So these have actually been around for a long time. So every Thursday um, during the fall semester up until fall break, you can actually buy produce grown right here on campus. Um, and we have a really successful project going right now there called Double Your Dollars. So if you give us $2, we'll give you $4 in tokens, which you can spend for local produce. We are in the fourth year of a program called the Student Energy Ambassadors, and so these students actually go to student residences and teach them how to be more efficient in their homes. Um, I mentioned SCIF before, that yeah. stands for the Sustainable Campus Initiative Fund. That is a green grant program for University of Utah. So students can actually apply for money to implement sustainability projects on campus. So W Dollars was funded through that. Um, in addition, some of the beehives that you see around campus um, water bottle filling stations, and even some of the solar panels. So those projects have ranged from just a few hundred dollars to the largest grant ever, which was $80,000. The sustainability office supports recycling, but we aren't the recycling office. Um, okay. And so facilities management handles that, but currently they're in partnership with the uh, student government, ASUU, to do Recycle Rice Eccles. Um, this is such a cool program. It's been going on for at least five years now. Um, and students actually go to tailgating lots before football games and collect recyclable materials. In the past, it's been an average of about 20 to 25,000 pounds that they've diverted over oh, the wow. season. More and more students are learning about the Green Grant Program, and so we're getting more applications every year. Mm -hmm. um, more students are volunteering in the Edible Campus Gardens and at the Farmer's Market. Um, more applications for our internships. And then another really cool development, I think, is the number of student groups that have increased over the last few years. There's another group that I think we should mention, and I think it's getting more active, and that would be um, a group that's supporting active transport across campus, so that's the bikes and the skateboarders, and people, you know, trying to make sure that we have the right kind of space for people to get around campus, mm -hmm. um, good places to lock up your bikes. We're seeing more and more people bringing bikes. And In addition, there are those bike cages at the BUC, and also mm -hmm. all of those bike fix-it stations you see around campus. So there's one by the Union, and one by the UMFA, and a couple up in housing. So those were originally funded by SCAF as well. Students have a powerful voice, and so our office exists because of students. They helped start it um, back in the 2007-2008 academic year, um, and really when students say that they want something, that's really when action happens. Um, so I would want everyone on campus to know that.